Hi team, hope you're having a great day. Today I had a coach call with some other coaches and one of the head trainers. And it was really interesting what was discussed. And as we enter this new season of summer, I just wanna remind you not to forget about your goals, not to forget about um, the fact that you can make progress. And the call today was all about if you're on a plateau, what do you do if you've reached a plateau? And my first thing is what I'm gonna to say to you is when you're thinking about making progress, what does that, what is that progress to you? How do you view progress? What are your progress markers? Are you trying to sleep better? Are you trying to have more energy? Are you trying to have your clothes fit better? Um, are you trying to lift heavier? Are you trying to have fat loss? Um, I definitely recommend and would say if your goal is primarily fat loss, that's going to take time. And that's just the reality of the situation. Um, in order to have fat loss, you need to gain muscle and gaining muscle takes time. So think about your why, think about what are your um, progress markers. So also, if you are feeling like you're not making progress with any of the things that I talked about, um, some feedback markers, some biofeedback markers that are things to think about are sleep. How is your sleep? Are you sleeping well? Are you waking up in the middle of the night? Um, are you able to go to sleep? Are you getting enough sleep? Energy. Do you wake up with energy or are you tired all day? When do you have an afternoon slump? Um, those types of things with energy. Mood. Are you feeling moody? What would your family say about you? What would your friends say about you? Um, are you having a lot of highs and lows? Are you sort of steady Eddie? Um, intermittent fasting. How are you doing with intermittent fasting? How are you feeling? Um, what are your hours? You know, noticing that. Strength, are you gaining muscle? Are you gaining strength? Are you lifting heavier enough? Um, and then hunger, are you hungry? What days are you hungry? When are you hungry? So thinking about those six biomarkers, which are sleep, energy, mood, intermittent fasting, strength, and hunger, thinking about those. If you are in a plateau, something else to think about besides those six biomarkers or things that you can do um, is um, thinking about primarily your nutrition. Number one, that's what, that's what is the key to a healthy lifestyle is your nutrition. So first thing is tracking macros. If you are not tracking macros, it's a great idea to track your macros. You know, we count macros, not calories at the faster way because we wanna make sure that we are eating a certain percentage that is correct. Um, and so if you wanna figure out if what you're eating is enough or too much, it is important to track your macros. If you are comfortable using MyFitnessPal, use that if you're comfortable and you've used that. Or you can use um, the FasterWay app, whichever is better for you. But tracking your macros is definitely a place to start if you are in a plateau, I definitely recommend that. Um, also, you can think about your workouts. If the workouts, if you've been doing the faster way workouts and they're getting um, a little bit easier for you and you just sort of check the box and do it, think about lifting heavier. Think about you doing more sets. Think about doing more reps. There is a lifestyle group um, that is, I think, called like heavy lifting. So if you're interested in additional workouts, you can on the app, you can go to the resources and you can sign up to um, be in that lifestyle group. There's also a bunch of other lifestyle groups, working moms, families. So those are some good groups to definitely, I would recommend. Um, it's also important to track alcohol if you are really wanting to make certain progress with fat loss. Um, in the faster way, there are times when we are going to be, um, in terms of our macro food cycle, in a deficit. Um, there are times that we're going to be in a surplus. If you are someone um, that needs to, that wants um, more fat loss, we need to look at your um, percentages of your macros. If you haven't done that for a while, um, we should look at those and make sure those are where they should be. Um, if all of this seems overwhelming also, if tracking your macros seems like a lot, I totally understand that. Um, but the most important thing is you wanna make sure that you're getting all that food in. Making sure that you are getting those macros in because if you are not eating enough, you will not progress.
And I know that's something, the way we were raised in diet culture, that is something that is not intuitive, but I want you to think about that if you are getting enough food. And if for some reason you're not and you're having trouble with that, the first thing I would recommend is to cut back on is your fasting. Um, you know, open your fasting window earlier if that works better, that you can get all that food in. Um, you know, anything over 12 hours is definitely beneficial. 16 is ideal, but that may not work with you and your lifestyle. So if you are feeling like you're not making progress and you've hit a plateau and you need a little boost, I want you to think about picking your heart. You know, you think, oh, tracking macros, oh gosh, that's so hard. But what about your heart of not feeling good? Do you want to feel good? That is the key here for us to feel good and have our bodies work most efficiently. So maybe tracking your macros, you can do that in order to feel good as opposed to not feeling good, okay? Um, I want you guys to know I am just telling you all this because I want you to feel your best. I want you to see progress in all different ways of your life, whether it's your mood or your energy or, you know, your sleep or the way your clothes fit. Like think about really heading into the summer, what you want your goals to be and how you are going to track your progress progress. And if you want to go over your macros, you want to go over any of those bio biomarkers, um, let me know because I am here to help you and I want to help you feel your best. Have a great day.